Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation by NYX Cosmetics. Um, these were kindly sent to me and I've got them in three shades so I'll swatch them for you guys. Um, but since they came out, I've been wanting to try these because I absolutely love the... Um, can't stop won't stop foundation and anything from nyx to be honest they're really really good and also it says glow and i have really dry ass skin so anything that says glow hydrating luminous quench thirst anything like that i want it on my skin okay so we're gonna jump straight into it before we jump into the video i'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to jay natarajan i hope i'm saying that right i'm so sorry if i've butchered that i'm really sorry thank you so much for your sweet comment and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment okay so i got this little leaflet here which says that this foundation comes in 45 truly flattering shades which is amazing these are all the shades right here and i feel like they've got a good amount of pale light medium tan rich and deep like there's a good balance between all of them the shade that i'll be using today is golden honey my summer shade in a can't stop won't stop foundation will be caramel but if not in winter time i use golden or even cardamom is more summer but golden is my winter shade the skin changes throughout the year so it's good to have options you know for when your skin turns or when it becomes paler in winter time it's just really convenient but yes i'm going to be using golden honey which i'll swap swap swatch for you guys i think that's a really nice match for my skin this is a beige which it's actually very olivey yellow, but on my skin it looks really pale, but I actually might give this to my friend because I feel like this will match her. Might do, yeah. And then we have golden, which is slightly lighter, a bit more neutral as well. Those are the three shades I got. I'm just using some of my Fenty um, hydrating primer. I love this stuff. I prefer it more to the original. Just better for my skin. Now it is like really, it's not like thick, it's quite smooth. It doesn't like drip, like drip. So it's not that liquidy, but it's not really thick either. I'm just gonna use my EX1 beauty sponge. Blend that out. It does say it has medium coverage. Buildable medium coverage, a naturally radiant finish that lasts, blends like a dream, works for your skin to help create a smooth, even toned look. And yeah. So I really like these medium coverage foundation. They just um, sit on my skin better. And if it says hydrating, it's even better because my skin is so dry. But like that just blended so nicely and I feel like the match is on point. I'm just gonna put a bit more around my mouth. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is what the foundation looks like. I keep thinking it's a BB cream when it's not. Coverage is actually really, really nice. It blends really easily. Um, definitely medium coverage. I can still see some of my pigmentation showing through. Um, but it can be buildable because it did help um, on my second application to just like cover it a bit more. Everything blends so easily on it. It doesn't accentuate any of my texture because I've got a lot of bumps lately. Um, it's just a really really nice foundation so far. I'm really really liking it. Do I see myself using this? Definitely, especially going to work every day um, and it just feels really lightweight and hydrating. I don't feel like my skin is crying for water. <laughs> you know and it hasn't gone flaky anywhere at all as well so i'm gonna wear this for a few hours we're gonna see how it sits and yeah what time is it 
it is currently 11 a.m so i'll be back later on and we'll see how it looks okay so it's now 18.57 p.m. It's been over six hours. To be honest, I, my makeup has held up pretty well. And I don't know, because I went out, I don't know if it's because of this Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. It's so, so good. Um, but, the be but the foundation has come off a bit on my nose and around my mouth area. But everywhere else, it is bomb. Like, it's so beautiful guys i really like it as you can see i touch my nose a lot so i'm not surprised that it's come off there but everywhere else looks so nice um i don't even look that maybe a little bit shiny on my forehead i'm really really happy with this foundation it's so nice i feel like any skin types can wear it as well because i'm not super oily it's not like super greasy it's just hydrating um and you can definitely set it with powder I'm really happy that I don't have major smile lines either. But yeah, the application, the coverage, I just love this. This is so my type of product at the moment. It's not like full, full coverage, but I'm okay with that. It feels more like a BB cream, to be honest, but with a bit more coverage. I just see myself using this a lot and repurchasing it for sure, because it just looks so nice on my skin. Oh, so it's for £10. You can get on Boots. That's so affordable. Like, I would definitely repurchase this. It's so nice. So if you have dry skin... I definitely recommend this for you. It's so nice. It made my skin look beautiful. I'm going to rate this a good... I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, man. Shade range is on point. The formula is amazing. You get 30ml for £10. Easy to blend. Coverage is really good for, like, a glowy foundation. But it's not, like, greasy. Um, it comes in a tube. I mean... Actually, maybe... Let me give it a 9.5 because it's plastic. I'm trying to hold back on plastic stuff now but it comes in a plastic tube i mean the bottle could be a bit more convenient because i just see myself dropping this a lot so yeah 9.5 just for the packaging because it's, it's it's just simple cheap packaging um but other than that i really do like the foundation it's really really nice so if you guys have any questions about it let me know in the comments below and if there's any new products you want me to try let me know in the comments as well because i will go out and get it for sure if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do so please now it takes two seconds <laughs> and also follow me on instagram if you haven't already i do a lot of stuff on there as well and yeah thanks so much for watching my loves and i'll see you in my next one bye